booktube science fiction reads here with another book haul this time a massive one um probably 60 or 70 uh vintage paperbacks um i went to this kind of yard sale uh this woman had hundreds and hundreds of old science fiction and fantasy um and she wanted 25 dollars for a box so i i didn't have a lot of time i quickly went through she probably had like eight boxes um, and I filled a box myself. So I have seen everything in this box, but only very briefly because like I had to go through, you know, probably four or 500 books. Um, so anything that looked good or sounded good uh, just went in the box. So that's what's a little different about this book. I'll, normally when I do something like this, I go through it, I decide what I'm gonna keep, and what I'm gonna get rid of, and then you guys don't see what I'm getting rid of. Um, I only tend to show what I'm actually interested in, but I thought it'd be fun just to go through this whole thing. Uh, let's just launch right in because this is going to take a little while. Um, Barefoot in the Head, Brian Aldis. Aldis. Um, an author I've read and I've heard of, of course, but I haven't heard of this one. Um, I did notice when I was going through these, a lot of the spines are in great shape, so that's a bonus. Uh, here's a curio. Omni, Skyborn. I don't know anything about this, but that's obviously the Omni magazine from, uh, what, the 70s or 80s? Uh, it says Scholastic in the bottom, so that's probably a young adult or kid's book. Uh, A.E. Van Vo and E. Main Hull, The Winged Man. Um, I do remember reading the back of this. I'm not so sure... Yeah, it involves a submarine. That might not be a science fiction. Um, Norman Spinrad, A World Between. Uh, that was a good chunk of books I just grabbed because those are all, well, three out of the four people I know. Um, here's one I've read. Edmund Cooper, A Far Sunset. I remember this. It was uh, One Survivor. I think they crash landed on this planet. They went to survey. There's one survivor, humanoid species, and he kind of eventually becomes their either their god or their king, something like that. I think I'm gonna keep the edition I have. This is a ace. I do like the the artwork, but I already have a copy of that. Uh, uh, the Sorcerer's Skull by Robert E. Vardman. I don't know what this is, but let's all appreciate this wild cover art here. We've got a guy looking in a mirror with his little spider companion. Co-author of the War of Powers series. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, Stephen Tall, The Ramsgate Paradox. This is what I mean. This is the kind of stuff I've never heard of, authors I've never heard of. Night Watch, Andrew M. Stevenson. Now, I do like that cover art. It's obviously Jupiter, I would think. I like that. Uh, Melissa Scott, The Game Beyond. I have read, uh, I think Melissa Scott wrote Dream Ships, which was kind of like a cyberpunkish hyperspace adventure. Uh, I think I gave that a three out of five on Goodreads. Brian Lumley, Ship of Dreams. Uh, da, 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 da. Something to do with Lovecraft, potentially. Oh, here we go, Michael Swanwick, Stations of the Tide. That's one I've heard of, but I, I'm not sure what, what it's about. I do like what I've read of his. Um, from Endless Quest Books, American Nights by Nick Plata. Oh, wow. Um, Balzan of the Cat People. Okay. It's got that nice teal text block. Newest sensation in science fiction, the Tarzan of Outer Space. Crawford Killian, The Empire of Time. That's, I like that title. I like that cover art. Now that's an author I have heard of, but I've not read anything by him. 
Risa and Tregar, F.M. Busby. Uh, the second book in the three-part series of Risa Kergulin. That's a series I've heard of. Um, I think it's a space opera. Uh, here we've got a Da book. Uh, Robert Laurie, Identity 7. Oh, Clarion SF. So short stories edited by Kate Wilhelm. Uh, that's probably a keeper. Uh, Pandora's Children, Catherine Lance. That uh, looks to be a fantasy. Uh, Orbit Unlimited, Paul Anderson. That'll be a keeper. Um, I think I've read the synopsis for this before, but I don't know. Oh, look at this. Somebody gave this as a gift. It says, uh, the finest sci-fi money can buy from Ruth. I like that. <laughs> uh, Robert Hoskins, To Control the Stars. I do remember going through these. There's a lot of Ballantines and Del Rey's with, like, nice, uncracked spines. Oh. We've got, uh... The Empire of Time. I got two of those. A.M. Leitner, uh, The Day of the Drones. Uh, here's a Fred Saberhagen, The Mask of the Sun. Oh, it involves the discovery of a valuable Aztec relic. Well, there you go. That, uh, that'll be a keeper, Aztec related. Neat. Um, number six in the Sten Adventures, The Return of the Emperor. Um, I think I've read about this. This might be the end of a six book series by Alan Cole and Chris Bunch. Uh, here's a book I have, have not read. Picnic on Paradise by Joanna Russ. Um, I think this is Star Books. Yeah, I've, I've only seen one of these once or twice before. Published in 76, Starbucks. Can't remember off the top of my head what I've read by her. We Who Are About To? Is that Joanna Russ? We Who Are About To. If that was her, I've read it. <laughs> Christian Laurier, uh, The Mountains of the Sun. Again, funky, funky cover art. It's a Berkeley. Dragon Slayer by Wayland Drew. I think this is based off a movie, and I believe Wayland Drew is from Oshawa, Ontario, which is not too far from me. Oh, a couple Jack Chalkers. Uh, the River of Dancing Gods and Demons of the Dancing Gods. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, two books involving Gord the Rogue by Gary Gygax. We've got Dance of Demons. These look neat, and I've heard about Gary Gygax. Um, and Sea of Death. Uh, very obviously the same character there. Gonna have to look those up. Those look neat. Um, the second, third, and fourth books in Louise Cooper's Indigo, I guess. Don't know what these are. Look to be fantasy. Okay. Gold Star by Zach Hughes. I like that cover art. Very nice. Um, L. Neil Smith. I've read something by him. Uh, the Crystal Empire. I read a Da book by him. Can't remember what it was. Uh, the Crystal Empire. Prometheus award winning author of Probability Brooch. Uh, John Brunner. Times Without Number. This is like never been opened by Hamlin Books, I think. Hamlin Paperbacks, yeah, I don't think I've heard of them. 
Great cover art. Uh, oh, here we go. Something I recognize. John Barley, Blue Champagne. Great cover art again. I believe this is short stories. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, that's a good find. Because I've only read uh, the Gaia trilogy by him, which I enjoyed. I think I liked them in reverse order best. Like, first, I liked the best. Second was not too bad. Third was eh. Still a good series, though. Uh, book five of the Pellbar Cycle by Paul O. Williams, An Ambush of Shadows. I remember reading about this series recently, post-apocalypse, many, many years afterwards. Earth has moved on, lots of different uh, low-tech cultures coming into contact with one another. Ger uh, Gerard Klein, oh, translated by John Brunner, uh, The Overlords of War. That's a... Uh, Da book as well. Uh, John Brunner again, Squares of the City. I haven't heard of this John Brunner. Somebody's uh, been working on some math equations back there. Oh yeah, uh, Rogue Star by Frederick Pohl and Jack Williamson, volume three in the Star Child trilogy. Now I have a hardback um, omnibus of this, but something about this cover art just appealed to me. It's so disturbing like those look like faces right those must be some sort of alien creatures they look very sad and just this bizarre creepy landscape this is a creepy image but for some reason uh it speaks to me i like this i think i'm gonna hold on to this um i did look up the series recently didn't have that great of reviews uh, monica hughes the keeper of the isis light I have one of these Isis books. I don't know really anything about them. I haven't read anything by Monica Hughes. Uh, another Monica Hughes, Sand Writer. Uh, now that looks cool. Um, that's got to be a fantasy. And these, these are both from a publisher I've never seen before. Um, Magnet. Magnet books. I've never... Uh, Never come across those. I think she writes uh, potentially young adult. This could be young adult, but again, like well maintained. Okay, here's two from the same author. Uh, Pat Patricia Wrightson, "The Ice Is Coming." I think this is maybe a colony world or uh, human-like creatures discovered on another planet, uh, and the dark, bright water. Yeah, you can tell those are part of the same series. What is this series called? Nah, I'm not going to find it. Uh, these look interesting. Bizarre. Uh, Kenneth Balmer, Behold the Stars. This is tiny, tiny paperback by Brid Books. Um, how old is this? Produ oh, produced in Israel for Brid Books Publishers, but there's, there's no date. Let's wait, there's no date or anything. I have no idea how old this is. Kind of a strange curio. It does have prices on the back. I have only read, uh, short stories by Belmer, but I did like them. Whatever they were, it was long ago now. Uh, the Way to Dawn World by Bill Starr. Gotta love that. Crazy cover. This is a uh, series, A Far Star and Sun, novel number one. So some sort of maybe science fantasy series. We are somewhat getting toward the end here. Uh, Barry N. Ballsberg, Galaxies. I think I've read a short story by him. Um, pyramid science fiction. I like these old pyramid books. I don't think I've come across a pyramid book yet that didn't have cover art I didn't like. Usually they have colored text blocks. Very cool. In the year 3902. Uh, this is from 1975. Uh, 
Margaret Weiss, uh, King's Sacrifice. This is the third in some sort of space opera. I have the first and second, so I figured I'd grab that. Uh, Kate Wilhelm, Listen, Listen. Uh, Four Visions of a Near Tomorrow by Legendary Teller of Tales. So, short stories. Yeah. Uh, Tanith Lee, Volkhavar. Another nice uh, Da Yellow Spine. Great cover art. Uh, L. Neil Smith, the Nagasaki Vector. Vector. All right, I got two more stacks left here. Uh, George Zabrowski, the Omega Point. This, I think, formed a loose trilogy, which I own and have read. Yeah the Omega Point Trilogy. Uh, I remember very little, but I did mark it on Goodreads as, I think, one of my favorites. Uh, I certainly enjoyed it at the time. It was a space opera, but it also kind of involved, like, the consciousness of all living things in the galaxy merging, kind of at the end of time, uh, which is kind of to do with the Omega Point theory. Um, I don't know. I might keep that, even though I already own it. It's the only uh, George Zabrowski I've read, but I did enjoy that. Um, John Boyd, Andromeda Gun. Um, what a great title. Uh, Norman Spinrad, The Men in the Jungle. Who's this by? Avon Books. I think I have some Harlan Ellison by the same publisher with the same kind of uh, jacket art, whatever. The Year of the Quiet Sun, Wilson Tucker. Um, I think I've heard of that. The winner of the John W. Campbell Memorial Award. Well, holy. I, I don't know. I think I've heard of this. Uh, Neil Hancock, A Dragon Winter. I think this is either from the Circle of Light series or the oh, author of the Circle of Light saga. Okay. I just like, like that. How do you pass up that cover art? It's so funky. Oh boy. Death Hunt on a Dying Planet by, is that the title? I guess. Gary Allen Roos. Uh, that looks not great. <laughs> uh, Core World, Avalon, Mirandia. Yeah, it looks more like a not great thriller or something. Uh, Alexi Panshin, the the Thurb Revolution, and um, Starwell. These are part of a. Uh, connected series. I have read Rites of Passage by Panshin years and years ago, uh, and I enjoyed that. Uh, one I've heard of by Somtau Sarchatukul. Uh, I butchered that. Mall World. It's Mall World. Uh, book I've heard about. Again, great, great shape. Um, and some funky cover art, too. Uh, Jonathan Wiley, The Unbalanced Earth Trilogy, Volume 1, Dreams of Stone. Uh, Ursud by Joe Clayton, the novel of the Diadem. I had a bunch of these, um, but I sold them on eBay in a huge lot of Da books. I might still have some. God, that is great cover art. Um... Matters of Form by Scott Wheeler. Another book and author I have not heard of. That's about 75% of these I've not heard of. Oh man, this looks good. Uh, the Valley of Creation by Edmund Hamilton. Look at that. A lodestone science fiction novel. Oh. Uh, 
I kind of wanted to see when this was published. 1964, maybe? I mean, it sucks it's falling apart, but that just looks like an old relic. I might try that one. Um, what have I read by Hamilton? Oh, short stories, I believe. Um, Arthur Landis, Home to Avalon. It's another dot book. I have some of his books too, Camelot in Orbit and another one connected to that world. Uh, Jim Aiken, Walk the Moon's Road. And just a few more here. Final stack. Gerard Klein, The Overlords of War. Translated by John Brunner. Uh, here's one I already have, but it might be in better shape than mine. Uh, Brian M. Stableford, Promised Land, part of his six book series. As always with Da, great cover art. Um, and I just grabbed that in case it's in better shape than what I have. Uh, Glorious People, Alfred Koppel. A Golden Wing Cycle Novel. Uh, here we go. Phil Pose Farmer, Lord Diger. Um, yeah, I certainly don't have this one. Okay, uh, Newton and the Quasi Apple, a science fiction novel by Stanley Smith. Schmidt. And H. Beam Piper, The Cosmic Computer. He, of course, wrote uh, the fuzzy stories, of which I have. I think I have all of those, but I, I haven't read any yet. And just two more that I left over here. Um, by Dennis Schmidt. Um, Kensho, which I think is like, um, it's science fiction, but it has a lot of uh, martial arts. I think a culture that relies on martial, uh, martial arts. And another one in that series, Wanderer. Um, I just pulled those off the top of the box to look them up earlier. So that's it. That had to be 60 or 70, something like that. So yeah, I wanted to get through that and a little different than normal. Usually I sort through them beforehand and I only show what I'm interested in. But since the majority of this is stuff unfamiliar to me, I thought I'd just go through it uh, entirely and uh, post it online and see what you guys think. So as always, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.